Oh. Okay, so that is a man's ring. That looks like diamonds. I haven't checked these yet. I'm still going to. These look good. These, these little come aparts. Okay, even though this is not my niche, I have a feeling about this. Today is church sale day. Today is church sale day. It is another gloriously, unseasonably warm, beautiful day here in northern New Jersey. I have three church sales scheduled. I am a vintage jewelry expert. I've come to places like this looking for vintage jewelry to collect and resell. Stay with me. This chair has nothing to do with vintage jewelry, but I can use it. Ooh. What does it say? Matches chair in box, $15. I will pick that up. Oh, little, little living plant. Oh, those are adorable. What are they? They're birds. I those look like gold. I'm going to check them. Check those. Check those. Oh, what else is here? Oh, look at those. Check those. There's a convenient bowl here. And keep going. Yeah, see the color of the post? We'll check those. Check those. <laughs> Okay, got my little bowl here. Oh, look at that. That's nice. We will get that. Oh, oh no, that's very plastic. This is. Also, very plastic. Mm -hmm. This is kind of nice. We don't need it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what does it say? Is it a snitch? It might be a snitch. We'll look at that. Checking here. Those could be good. Those could be good. Okay, I did. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me get those off. These are nothing, so we'll put those back. Lots of goodies here. I haven't checked these yet. I'm still going to. They're only a dollar. Oh, there's more here. Pretty. We don't need it. These look good. These, these little come aparts. I didn't turn around and look. Sorry, I that what does it was say? You could get rid of this. Sure. Stay locked Absolutely. cuff buttons. Wow, so they're not yeah, old. I thought they were old. Okay. So they're still making. Is they look idea? beautiful. They look like they're I'll gold. We'll one. grab those. Cool. We shall pick those up. Okay. Very pretty. Do you remember what these were? Little blue topaz things. I can go look if you want. Yeah, why don't you? If I need Little angel. Okay, we don't need any of that. I just noticed you say $20, so these I will definitely check. But these, since they're a dollar, I'm just going to wait until the end, go over it, stay with me, and see how I did, how my intuition was. I'm going to get everything, and I'll let you know what it is at the end.
I looked at them with a the loop. They don't even look gold filled. They look sort of like a rolled gold or something and they don't come apart. So I don't know how they work. I'm going to put them back and pass on those for 20, but I still have a very good feeling about some of the things in here. Okay, I'm going to check out Stay With Me. I'm heading over to church sale number two, and we will go over this in the end. Here we are at St. Jude, and it's pretty late in the day. I wanted to stay on track for three. We'll see how we do. Actually, the third one is open until five. This one is only open until two, so we have 32 minutes to be here. Not a lot of time to check the whole place out, um, but it might be less crowded. So much for being empty. Every spot is taken. I had to go to the very end of the parking lot. It is truly a glorious day though. I absolutely love it. It's a perfect day for thrifting. I guess everybody had the same idea. So we'll get in there. We have about half an hour. We'll see what we can find. Um, looking especially for vintage jewelry to collect and resell and I have gotten lucky here in the past. We're on the clock. Okay, I'm going to go straight to where I know they keep the jewelry, which is over here. Okay, here we are. This is new. Love that. Oh boy, I have a feeling... This could be a good trip. This. I like the look of. That will check. That's for hair bands. Ooh, what is this? That's $5. Hmm. Well, we don't need it, whatever it is, but these I'm definitely checking. That's cool. Cool. Oh, a black rose. That's wood. Bracelets. That's probably a little silver and onyx man's ring. We don't need it. Ooh, tiger eye. Pretty. Let's check these more carefully. No. Oh, these are awesome. These are silver and purple crystal. These are like museum gift shop. Take those. Look how pretty those are. Very arty. A little pile. What is going on here? It's just one. Oh, I see. It's just one. Okay. Some copper. Some costume chandelier. Okay. This just fell right into my hand. So I'm going to put it back like that. Those are pretty. We don't need them. And then, oh don't need that. I actually like this, this mid-century one. It's in such good shape. Wow. I've never seen this one before. Oh, this is really, really nice. I wonder if it's a book piece. Okay, we will definitely get this, believe it or not, and then check these um, and see what they turn out to be. I see something hanging off the hook here hidden. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. I need a basket. They also have mystery jewelry grab bags. Oh, there's a lot in there for $2 each. Okay. And then here's the 
price list. Okay, so the necklaces are four. I still have to take this out of the bag and look at it. I turned around looking for a little basket to put my things in and I noticed all the purses and then look at this. What is going on over here? Oh boy. <gasps> okay. Okay, so far I'm not seeing anything that we have to have. Oh, that's nice. We'll check that one. We'll check that one. We'll check that one, of course. That one we don't have to check. No. Uh, yes. Oh, and here's a perfect little beautiful bowl. I really like that. I might get, I should get them both actually for $2 each. Okay, that's everything that we have to go through. I got my loop, but I want to keep looking because I don't have a lot of time. Oh, look at that. $50. And there's the long, I think this is called an epern, something like that. Oh, oh, so beautiful. All right, but quick, quick, quick. Gotta be quick. Oh, I see something over there. Nothing. Oh, what's this? Okay, I thought it was coach for a second over here. That's Leah Sophia. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm in a hurry. Two dollars. Two dollars for the whole set. This is nice for six. Ooh. Don't know enough about it. Okay, I'm looking at the bags and I don't see anything that's calling out to me. So that's good. We'll go back to this and do a quick, we'll try and do a quick um, scope of everything that's in here. We'll check that. So. Oh, that's gonna fall. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I'm also gonna go through all these things. Okay. Not seeing anything. Nope, nothing, nothing there. Now on this side, nothing. All right, let's look through here. Okay. Mm. Not seeing, oh, what is that? Oh, okay, so. Some man's ring that looks like diamonds. Interesting. Okay, that's definitely a yes. And then, what is this? This also looks really good. Oh, that almost looks like Whiting and Davis. Oh, that's pretty. All right, that goes in the bowl. We'll check it later. All right. I'm dating myself. Who's the now All right. There are things to be found here. Anything else? I like that these are a pair, but they're newer. That does say something. Oh, gosh. All right, I'll just check that one fast. And then, what is this? Bracelets. 
No. Oh. Hello. That is really nice. Okay, that's a yes. It looks like a match to the thing I just got. Oh boy. They do have things here. It is worth coming. You just have to know how to find it, you know? And then there's one more after this. Okay, that's it for... Hmm. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am liking this. Okay. And that we don't need. That looks like a nice silver chain. Useful silver chain. That's a yes. These are earrings. Hmm. All right, we'll check those two. I'm going to run out of time. I'm not going to have time to check everything. I'm just going to have to buy it. Oh, boy. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And what is this? It's a nothing. Okay. All right. And then this. What does it say? I don't know. It says Leah Sophia. So we're just going to put that back right away. And, oh, is that a Kennedy? No. Okay. And now we're going to just go through the things I'm really questioning really fast. Okay. So guess what? I was in the process of putting this back and I was going to hang it from here and I noticed yes, I heard we're that. Look at that. Just stop it. Oh, it's Avon. Okay. For a second, I got all excited. All right, back to going through. So this is what we're ending up with. I found these over here while I was putting uh, stuff back. So these have a great mark. Wait until you see. That's a yes. Silver is a yes. That's a yes. And that's a yes. And they just turned up the music. So we'll just do this fast. I took them all out of the bags. I'm going to check them um, again. And um, like this one, I know I'm definitely getting. It's pretty inlaid, probably Mexican sterling. But I want to double check that one and that one. And then this one, of course. That's pretty awesome for five. Look how beautiful. I'm trying to get away from the loud music. Like they just made it really, really loud. All right, hopefully this is good. I'm just gonna go over these fast. I took them out, they're $5 each. Like this one, I'm not sure about, it could be Lucky Brand. And then this one, okay, this one I know about. That's beautiful, that's inlaid. Lab Opal, probably Mexican Silver. This one I think I know about. That looks like old, old good native, or at least 70s, and then this one i also want to double check okay i will do that now so this is the only one that was marked it's not marked 925 but it has the initials pb so that's definitely a yes once again wait until you see the mark on those this i was right i just want to show you this did turn out to be lucky brand it is clearly marked right there lucky brand so that we don't have to get this one this one no marks at all but good. I can tell by the feel of it. And then this one is not marked, but it feels good. So we're going to get that one too. Okay, what time is it? Oh, five of two. All right. 
I'm just going to do a swoop okay. through the last room. Oh, the air is so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Okay, the last room. Love the parasol. And then there's one more today because they're open until five. So that's good. Ooh, what is that? Awesome. I love that. This little blue. No, we don't need that. What are you doing, Dawn? What are you doing, Dawn? Look at all the pink glass. Oh, look at all the pink glass. Oh, it looks beautiful in the light, too. Look at that. I love that they turned the radio off. Look at that. It says as is. All right. Lots of Capodimonte. Very nice. Look at this. Complete set, 75. I like this. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, I like this a lot. <gasps> what does that say? See, uh, for Dan and Bradstreet, $9.89 for $5. I don't have time to look it up. I think that there's a cork in there. I'm just going to grab that. Oh, look. That is gorgeous. I want to keep it. Okay, even though this is not my niche, I have a feeling about this. Made it with minutes to spare. Um, I think I'm going to leave the little dish and let them know. Oh, kitchen stuff. Oh, look, that bottle has a pepper stopper. <laughs> That's cool. Putting the Lucky Brand back. And now I'm just going to grab all of these and um, pay up front. I will leave that. She's counting everything up, and I put it back. So, um, question, what was in here? Oh, these rings. They were the $5 rings. Okay. I just took them out to look at them. All right. So the rings were five. Everything else is three. Exactly. And then this is five, and this is five. Yeah. Okay, $38 for everything in here. I think I did really great on the rings, even if that one with the checkerboard cut looking glass stone thing turns out to be custom, it's cool. And it felt good enough to take the risk for $5. Stay with me, we're on to church sale number three and I saved the best for last. I just got back in the car and I checked the turquoise to see if they were a match and they weren't, but I did get a better look at that. And those look like diamonds to me over hematite or something it really looks like chrome hearts look look at that beautiful that's a high-end ring right there okay so and then it's really there's something hidden in there also so stay tuned we'll find out more about that one so just left saint jude's now we are heading over to saint elsie's it is about 45 minutes away it is 215 somehow I was dilly dallying look at everything in the car so by the time we get there it'll be about three and then they're open until five so pretty good timing that's a real leaf that's nice Nice enough to wear out to the chicken mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Those are good. These are my going out to are These are really nice. Those look like garnets. Oh yeah. Okay. 
I love these. <laughs> these look like more Lucky Brand. Something like that. Wood. Those are still here. Plastic, okay. Look at these. These are definitely natural pearls, and that's at least gold filled. Nice long kidney wire. So we'll get those two. And these modern ones feel like I mean, they're definitely cool. If these are silver, these are amazing. So we'll check those too. That's fabulous. We'll definitely get that. All right, you're all set. You take care. Okay. I don't know about these low cut things. Well, some of them are short. Yeah, I know what you mean. Ooh. Look at that. That looks like smoky quartz on a beautiful chain. What's in front of it? Nothing. Okay, let's grab that one. Oh, I love it. It says, it probably says 19. Oh. I can't tell what it says. It doesn't matter. It's gorgeous. Look at Cross. Little gemstones. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. That's carved rose quartz. Yes, that's definitely carved rose quartz. Okay, this is a total score. How much is this? Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Very excited oh, so far. Good, right? The sunshine. Uh, it is so glorious. Glorious is a great word. Glorious. It's like unseasonably glorious. Like a May day. Yeah, yeah. Let's see these again. Ooh. My daffodils. I these are pleco jour. Beautiful, they're blooming out there. These are pleco jour. We are getting those. Okay, I'm seeing something. What is that? Oh, that's nothing. This looks like Kate Spade, maybe. But we don't need it. That was there last time. This looks good. Oh yeah, coin pearl and turquoise. Looks like Vermeil, we'll get that, $4. All of the necklaces are $4. Let's see. Hey, we're not, we don't wear any strawberries. Tinkerbell. Like she just, yeah, she just goes. Something with little acrylic. Okay. Some glass. Okay, now we're gonna have some Heart is here from last time. Good, so that's not the yeah. Yeah, that's a nice These thing. are right. plastic. Perfect. That's new, nothing special. This is still here. I'm sure that's rose quartz and carved mother of pearl with a little butterfly, but we don't need it. That's vintage, but we don't need it. That's clay. Oh, look, a little useful chain. It does look like a silver lobster, but we don't need it. We don't need it. We'll let it, someone else have it. Check through here. This is still here. That's a good one, but we don't need it. Okay, what's in here? Okay, let's check the purses. I was looking for a bowl to put the jewelry, and I spotted this little leather mini purse. They don't make them like this anymore. This is really, really nice. All right, uh, we'll get that and I'll keep the jewelry in it. I just got a price and it's $3 and I noticed it says it's a Monday. It's a Monday. No wonder. Fantastic vintage find. And it's got a long strap so you can do it as crossbody. This is where the music is pretty loud. I think I might try lowering it actually. Oh, I'm seeing some interesting purses. Hmm. Oh, this is a nice one. 
leather, speedy shape. Ta wait, yeah. Talbots. All right, we don't need that one. A bowling bag kind of shape. Well, look at that with the chain. Fabulous. Don't need it. I thought this was better than it is. It's not leather. All right, we got some hand mirrors here. Very handy. Oh, that's a magnifying glass that you put around your neck. Okay. Don't need that. What are these? These were cufflink boxes from the tie bar. No, there's nothing in them. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay, I'm lowering the radio. Oh, wow. Are they carved or are they plastic? It's very cool. All right, for a dollar, we'll figure it out later. There's a whole bunch of them in there. It's a few minutes before five. I went to three places and the post office, a very productive day. I did not spend very much money in any of the places. This was the big total, I think $42 was the big number, the biggest number of the day. So I'm heading back and I'm gonna put it all out on the table and count up the total for all three places and the amount of things that I found and average it out, average cost per item. Stay with me. Okay, so the grand total for all three stores was $94 and there are 26 items here and that equals $3.61 per item, except that eight of them aren't what I thought they were. Eight of them I got because they were so inexpensive that I just wanted to test them and they turned out to be nothing. Uh, the Mother of Pearl Little Studs turned out to be not silver and the other ones turned out to be not gold. So it's really 18 items, $94.00. Divided by 18 equals $5.22 each. And a couple of these things are real treasures. So let's start the Mundy bag. Okay, the Mundy bag is really, really cute. If you see anything you like, I have sales twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. I have auctions on this channel and I have sales on the Niche Shopping Network. There are links below to find out more. You can also text me at 917-809-7250. That number again, 917-809-7250. And you will get free alerts when I go live and when I drop a new video. I found one of these by the artist Charles Folkt. Uh, it came out a year later. He did it for Hewlett Packard and it was selling on Etsy for $49.99. I have researched some of his other pottery and it can go very high. So I'm very happy with this beautiful vase. I think it's much prettier than the Hewlett Packard one. There's Edgar's tail. I love this old mid-century modern made by Listener. It's in perfect condition and it's got this sort of optical illusion effect and it looks very chrome and very cool. That probably has a retail value of like $45 to $75. The, this is gorgeous. This is made by a designer. This is, there are other ones available on the internet. This is Gianna Yang, uh, Jiang, Gina Jiang. And it's gold over silver and turquoise and coin, coin pearls. And they retail for uh, 200 and up. So, and that one's no longer available. So if you want that one, then make sure you text and you'll get the free alert invite to get to an auction. And you'll also get alerts when I drop videos. The turquoise, love both of them. Love how they look together. I think they blend really well. I got them from two different stores. Great finds. So this ring, I think this is not testing as sterling. I think it's uh, old coin silver. It does look old to me. The turquoise looks like it could be howlite, so it's a bit of a mystery. I will look into it further, but in any case, 
it's gorgeous and it's going to be available at an auction or for sale in the shop hudsonvintagefinds.com that link will be below as well this is marked gumbaya mexico and the coins are dated 1951 and 1953 so this is definitely mid-century, 1950s, authentic coins. Look at it on. It's superb. This is a really special treasure, in my opinion. Without giving the big finale away, let's just say I did really well on the things from Mexico. These gorgeous modernist J hoops are electroform out of Israel, puffy artist made, beautiful. Those will be coming up as well at auction or in the shop. Stay tuned for that. Maybe they might even be a giveaway. So it pays to subscribe if you haven't already. This is so crazy. I knew the moment I touched this that this was incredible quality. This is gold over silver. It's made by IN2. I looked it up online. It is the most expensive necklace they sell, $380, and it is also sold out. They have it in clear quartz for 380, but they don't have this one. So this was a major score. Just wait. I feel like for the $94 that I spent, I got several thousand dollars worth of treasure. I really thought this was chrome hearts. I did not find it on chrome hearts. It turns out it's tourmaline, not diamond. It's extremely well made. There is a hallmark in there. I just can't make it out. It also really reminds me of King Baby or uh, Rock Stud. So stay tuned for that. That is very valuable. I think that's at least an $800 to a $1,500 ring. Out of all the things I tested, the, only two pieces turned out to be sterling. This is one of them. It's not marked sterling, but it is marked PB with the initials of the person who made it right there and everything else that turned out to not be sterling that turned out to be, to not be sterling none of this these turned out to not be sterling none of this was gold i thought those were gold they are not gold this i thought for sure was sterling and possibly amber and it's not testing as that. It really looks and feels like it. So it's so mysterious to me. I just couldn't believe it. There's even like the remnants of a mark there, but it's not testing as sterling. And I think the checkerboard stone is some kind of cherry amber resin combination. This is sterling. I knew it when I bought it. It's just a very useful chain, the nice Rolo. Uh, it's marked Italy 925, so super good. And this, not sterling, but I didn't buy it for that. This is testing as rose quartz and blue quartz. Look at the faceting on the blue quartz. This is a beautiful necklace. I love it so much. Great findings. Uh, it looks very artistic. The bird cages, not silver, not anything. These I thought were gold, but they're just gold filled, but still beautiful. These turned out to be silver, of course. Look how cool those are. They sit on the ear like that. So that's what they look at. So that's what they look like from the side. Very kind of cool, modern design. Modern with an E. These huge score. I love the way that the the balls are on the sides to me this is so incredible uh, very gothic i just saw earrings recently not as nice as these on a trip i made to asbury park and they didn't have any stones and they were 95 dollars. these have inlaid lapis and garnet and they are gorgeous 925 these turned out to be not gold you can see why i wanted to try them for a dollar because the color of the post looked so correct. None of these were anything. They were only a dollar each, so worth a try. I also thought I really wanted to test these for the same reason. They also felt really correct uh, weight-wise and everything like that. Finally, these turned out to be quartz and sterling. All of that, I know, it's got the greenies. I've never seen that before, but this is 
testing as at least 925. It looks like it's more than that. I started a super secret giveaway last Sunday and it continues. I am giving away a pair of earrings, March 12th, Mother's Day. If you know who made these earrings, comment below and you will be entered. Don't forget, I have sales twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesday is an auction, Friday is a sale on the Nee Shopping Network at 7 p.m. Eastern. See you in the next one. Bye.